Oh my, oh my God, God, it's Thomas the Franchise. going down y'all hope you guys had a good weekend I definitely did WrestleMania was crazy last night Hardy Boys return Undertaker retired it was cool I was really happy with the show also cop the Royals on Saturday it wasn't really that hard of a cop I saw a lot of people had issues getting them I got them off the sneakers app I didn't have any issues locally it kind of was an issue Dallas wasn't able to cop them I tried to go cop them locally it didn't work out my battery died it's not really worth showing you guys we didn't get any shoes we're just waiting in line in the cold for no reason <laughs> I be late for that, baby. I wait for that. If you had a taste of that, I'll follow you back though. Yeah, no doubt. Cool, man. Good to meet you. All right, you too, man. He's a little disappointed on that. It's not even a pair I was really jumping out the window to get, like I really had to have. But I did want them because the 2013 pair was such trash that I really wanted to get this pair just to have them back in the collection. The 2013 pair I had briefly, and then I just resold them. So it's cool to be able to get those back in the collection. And like I said, hopefully the quality is on point. Everything I'm seeing, there's a lot of different reviews. Some people are saying there's a good quality. Some people are saying there's or not there's a lot of variances and there was a ton of pairs produced so it's gonna be interesting to see what I get a lot of the people complaining I see that they cop theirs from like Foot Locker or Champs or something like that I got mine direct from Nike so I don't know if those are coming from different factories or what but it'll be cool to take a look at those those should be here later this week as far as the vlog today I got work right now then I'm gonna jet out and uh, go hit the misinformed podcast gonna go see the homies record the misinformed then after that I got a review and on feet for you guys of the ultra boost premium the gray with the suede heel cup those are ridiculous if you guys Guys follow me on snapchat you saw I already gave you a look at those those are so slept on I think resale right now especially in my size going between 230 240 I would jump on that immediately the premium quality the leather the materials you guys will see that in a little bit they are fire 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 <laughs> I'm excited to take a look at those with you guys. And then also the lacing tutorial on the Turbo Boost uh, 9317 that we did in the last video, the white joints, the EQTs. Everybody wants the lacing tutorial on those, so I'm definitely gonna drop that for you. That'll be probably tomorrow's video. Thank you guys for responding. I'm really glad that you guys like the way I lace them and I'll show you how I do it. It's pretty simple, shouldn't take too long, but I will get that up for you tomorrow. Other than that, man, not much else going on. Just a beautiful day in the CO, and we'll see where the day goes. <laughs> As you guys saw, I stopped and got milk on the way into work today because Samsung sent us all this breakfast cereal for this meeting and we got some left over. So I brought some milk in so the team could eat. I think I'm gonna give these looky loops a go right now. So let's set this right over here like that. This is my lunch today, looky loops. Samsung like made this cereal and sent it to us. Oh my God, you guys are about to be dead right now. Wouldn't you think looky loops would be like fruit loops or some kind of a loop, right? Look what this is. Does that look like any kind of loops you've ever seen? That's Fruity Pebbles, dog. Whatever. Not everyone can be up to Apple standards. <laughs> just kidding, y'all, just kidding. Just kidding. I can already see everyone in the comments all mad. <laughs> Samsung's the greatest. Oh, dang, I'm spilling all over the place here. Just trying to get some cereal. Yeah, it's Fruity Pebbles. I don't know why they would choose a name like Looky Loops for Fruity Pebbles, though. But overall, nice job on the cereal, Samsung. Good Fruity Pebbles. I got more milk here for the squad, in case the team wants to eat. Just once if I have the chance. <laughs> How you guys doing? Oh, you're Thomas, right? Yeah. What's up, man? I'm Joe. Oh, yeah, okay, cool. yeah, for sure. Another brother, Adam. Joe's little brother. All right, man. Good to meet you guys. Yeah, you too, bro. Yeah. Just ran into Joe in the hall. No big deal. Who? 
the homie Joe. No, I don't know those fools. No, I swear I don't. I was walking by. I was just, <laughs> I was just kidding. From, uh, maybe he just knows you from uh, the music. Just being so tight. Yeah, he said something like that. Thomas the franchise. Yeah, yeah. you're Thomas, huh? I was like, oh yeah, man, what's going on, bro? It's me. <laughs> you just it's, missed the illness. It's, it's, oh, that's hilarious. Hey, that's hilarious. We have to see if I break this shit, You got the toss now too? Yeah, it's only a seven. <laughs> Whoa! What? Exactly. Zach, what's Ooh, we gotta get the what? Oh, no, 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 no. oh yeah, we gotta see what's going down. We gotta I knew this. We gotta get it in. We gotta film it too, and you gotta catch it over the brick. Oh no. <laughs> <laughs> Throw it down. What are you throwing? My oh, fault! <laughs> Look at this civilian right here is about to catch it, fool. Ready? Oh, Oh! Yeah, That's what I'm talking about, baby. Dang. That's committed. Dang. No, all right. I'll see you guys later. <laughs> later, <dog>. <laughs> <laughs> I know that guy did. He did walk away all mad, huh? He was like, "Man, yeah, I'll catch it. Shit, I'll catch it. What is it? What is? It? He doesn't even know what it is. That's what he said. <laughs> That's why I should always have water balloons so that. Oh yeah, here, catch it. It's just a knife. How sick would that be? Though? Oh, you just fucking. Would that be sick? That He's would like, be like, hey, what do you got about anything? Right. Anything. <laughs> have someone down, just like the same scenario. Have someone down there like, oh, I don't know if I can do it, dude. Yeah. Please, yeah. I'll catch it. All right, cool, man. <laughs> Water balloons? <laughs> she went and punked this dude Weekly? and he had to fucking walk home barefoot. Wait, 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 wait. <laughs> she got her shoes back. It was some dub zeros too, black and gold joints. Dub zeros? <laughs> I was gonna spoil that WrestleMania shit for you. Were you? Yes. You were, I yeah. saw you specifically like. I turned off my Twitter notifications. <laughs> John Cena fucking proposed to Nikki Bella. That ring was ridiculous. See that ring? Uh, Did you yeah, see the Hardy Boys about, came back? I watched it. You watched wrestling? Right, you watched I, it. Just because it I was saw on, it, you're like, yeah. It was, uh, the Hardy Boys came back, uh, spectacular fashion, and so, we'll, Schwan Chan Bomb off the 20 foot ladder? Um, on Bruce Mother ladder? Yeah, the ladder match? Yo, what is going down, y'all? It's the Misinformed Podcast. I am Thomas the Franchise. Sitting next to me this week, my man Johnny Chill. What it do? Sitting next to him, Trav Nasty, Travioli, Tracy. <laughs> Anything under the sun, baby. And our yeah. guest this week, DJ Simone on the podcast. What's going on, girl? All right, guys, I'm back home. And like I said earlier, we're going to take a look at some shoes. We just wrapped up the Misinformed Podcast. So big shout out to DJ Simone for coming through. We really appreciate it. She is killing it right now. A lot of good content, great interview. So make sure you guys go check that out on iTunes in the podcast section on SoundCloud, wherever you listen to podcasts, just search Misinformed, Misinformed Podcast, Misinformed Show, and you'll be able to check out that interview. But enough with all that nonsense, let's get into what you guys came for, and that's to take a look at some sneakers. First of all, we start with the box label. There you go. The LTDs, the premium quality on them is so sick. I think this is my very first premium Ultra Boost that I've ever bought. Yeah, I mean, I have some other LTDs, but they don't have the premium materials that these have. When I show you guys, I mean, the materials used on these joints are primo. And for all my Mexican homies out there, no, I'm not talking about your cousin. I'm talking about premium quality. So let's get into the shoe, man. Bang. There they go, man. The Ultra Boost LTD premium gray. Let's let you guys look around the shoe real quick. This pair is super, super sick to me. As you can see, I do have these laced up the way I lace my Ultra Boost. If you wanna know how to do that and you didn't already see the video, I'll link it in the description below so you can go check that out and see how I get down. That's how they come out the box. Just tied up like that. Continental tag on the inside of the right shoe. Now before I get into the shoe, one thing that was different on these that I noticed is you know how uh, all the Ultra Boosts come with that sticker inside, or most Adidas shoes now come with that sticker inside, and that's kind of a really good way to tell if they're authentic. I mean, it's not always gonna be there. If you're buying from a seller, if you're buying on StockX, you're buying from somewhere else and they don't have that sticker inside, it doesn't mean they're fake. This is just a really easy way to tell that your shoes are authentic because Adidas puts this tag on the inside. But where I was going with that as far as the tag, so I noticed this one here, it's definitely a different shape and it's definitely a different style. Everything on this one is printed horizontally. All my other ones in the past, like this is one from my, I think these are from the Energy Red Ultra Boost. That's how they normally come. You see how it's vertical on this one, and then on this one, horizontal. And that's not something that's a real big deal or anything. I just noticed it was different. And I don't know if that's how they come on the LTDs. All the LTDs come horizontally like this and they're still doing vertically on the other ones or if this is something adidas is just doing and they're switching it up i'll have to find out as i get new pairs of ultra boost in as new pairs drop if they really just switched up the sticker but it's not overly significant it's just something that i noticed that was different from the previous pairs the other thing about this so on the right shoe that has the hang tag and all that stuff on it you'll notice this little leather piece hanging down right there and it says real leather they're letting people know this is the real deal 
this cage, the leather that's used on this shoe is the real deal. So this is like a little piece of leather, real leather, I'm assuming, that's uh, attached to the shoe. Just let them know they ain't doing that synthetic shit. Yeah, my homie Aldo, we're talking and he's like, yeah, it's probably a shot at Nike. And I could see it because Nike uses a lot of synthetic leather. Lately, they've been trying to get back to the premium materials and the better quality leather. But for a while there, they were just pushing out bougie synthetic leather on those Jordans. So Adidas is letting you know, hey, we ain't playing around. We got that real leather over here, son. As we get into the details of the shoe, this is your regular 3.0 prime knit. Uh, really, really stretchy. Nothing different from your other 3.0s. I do like the gray on this though. And the lines that you usually see on a traditional 3.0 Ultra Boost are less noticeable. You know, they're they're really, really faint. And I actually like this better than so that's a normal 3.0. You see how the lines are just very, very noticeable. On these ones, they're very, very faint. They could have made it like hella white in there and really, really noticeable, but they didn't. I like this look a lot better. I just think it looks cleaner. As we move up to the laces on the shoe. As we move up to the laces on the shoe, very, very nice lace, a lot smaller. As we move up to the laces on the shoe, very, very nice laces. They're really, really thin and they're a lot smaller than the other Ultra Boost 3.0 laces. They don't have any kind of design on them. They're just a flat gray, a very like thin flat gray lace, almost like boot laces or something. The thing I like about the laces is that when I lace them up like this, they hang and they sit to the side really, really nicely. That's something that I don't get on my other 3.0s. They're really stiff and they kind of stick out a little bit until gravity kind of breaks them in. These ones just hang down right away. Very, very nice, like super soft premium laces on there. On the you have the Adidas logo. It's the exact same on both shoes and this is reflective. As we move down the side, the cage that's holding the laces in is a nice premium leather or as Adidas said, real leather. And then on the inside of the cage, they have this soft brown suede, which the brown matches the brown on the inside of the shoe. And it also matches the lace tips. These lace tips here, initially I thought these were like wood or something. They're just plastic, but they're a really nice touch and it's a nice switch up for the premium model. As we move to the inside of the shoe, this is probably my favorite part of the shoe and that's the leather insole. This is an all leather insole, super, super soft. Let me take it out for you guys. So the thing I noticed about this insole, not only is it leather and it's super, super soft, but it's thicker. This is thicker than a traditional Ultra Boost insole. Like it just has, it just has a little bit more padding to it. And that's kind of what gives the premium feel when you put them on feet. When I put this shoe on feet, it definitely felt just a little bit nicer than a regular Ultra Boost. It felt more comfortable, felt more padding. And you guys know how comfortable a regular Ultra Boost is. These premium ones, just something about the leather mixed with the extra padding, just really, really nice on feet. Now I haven't worn these for a day out yet, but what I would say is for me, this is a 12 and they still felt cool, but they definitely felt noticeably more snug. And I'm not sure if that breaks in when you wear them. I assume it probably does. But initially when I put them on feet, they just felt a little bit more snug, not uncomfortable, not too tight, not too small. I don't need to half size up but they're more snug. That's obviously because the thicker leather insole on the inside is pushing your foot up a little bit, just makes the shoe fit a little bit more snug. So if your shoe is already snug, you might wanna size a half up on the premium joints just to make sure that it's not too tight. But like I said, for me, it's good. They're just a little bit snug and I imagine they'll loosen up. Huge, huge fan of that premium leather insole though. Very, very nice. As we move down to the back of the shoe or the heel cup, you notice you've got this suede and this is a super, super soft, really, really nice suede. Same thing on the inside. Ultra Boost is stamped in in there very very nice the thing that worries me about this is my heel cups and my cages kind of get beat anyway beating up the leather cage and kind of scratching it up a little bit i think that'll look cool i think it'll give it character just like a girl with a leather bag or something or if you got a leather wallet whatever leather when it gets kind of beat up and worn it kind of gives it character as far as the suede on the back of the heel cup my heel cups get super scratched up. I'm kind of worried about that. I don't know how this is going to hold up. I don't know if the suede's going to start peeling off or get damaged or anything. I'm going to have to buy me some suede cleaner. We'll see, but it's definitely like a premium suede. It's not like a new buck on a Jordan. The new buck is nice, but this is like baby soft. Like I need to get some underwear made out of this because this is... It is buttery soft suede. Moving down to the midsole, of course, you've got Boost. We all know about Boost. Gray torsion on the inside. On the outsole, exactly the same outsole as the Silver Pack. If you guys remember the Silver Pack Ultra Boost, it's the same. It's not really black, it's like a shade above black. That torsion there is black, so you can kind of see the difference. And then you've got the white Continental logo. Adidas logo on the toe. Overall, just a really, really nice shoe. You can see on this cage, there actually already are some scratches. That's how they came out the box down here, 
just a little scratched. I mean, like I said, I don't mind it. They're going to get scratched anyway. And when you scratch up leather, it gives a character. It's not really that big of a deal. So I'll keep you guys posted on how that wears and how that gets beat up over time. But overall, just a super high quality fire pair of Ultra Boost. Highly recommended. These are $200 retail because they're an LTD. But I've seen them all over the place for like $230, $240, $250, which is not high at all for an LTD. I think people are definitely sleeping. And I'm not going to lie, in pictures, when I looked at them, I was like, oh, they're cool. Like, I like them. I wasn't jumping out the window to get them. But now that I have them and I see them in hand and I see the quality and then when I saw them on feet man this is a pair I'm so glad I have even John and Josh who I work with when they saw them they were like dang those are super super nice like I did not think they look like that in photos and I was the same way so this is a pair I definitely wouldn't sleep on especially right now because resale's so low on them if you can't find them at retail I did see them restock a couple times but 30 bucks over retail that's a steal in today's market so highly recommended I'll put these on feet and you guys can see how they look like I said they're just fire on feet did you guys cop these did you guys pass on them did you get them do you like them did you not like them and maybe now seeing the review kind of changes your mind let me know in the comments below you guys know i always love going back and forth with you talking in the comments but that is the ultra boost ltd premium gray colorway they came out with a core black colorway as well it's the same kind of thing with the leather cage again check the description if you guys want to know how to lace these if you don't know already or if you haven't watched the video make sure you check that out and as always thank you guys for watching subscribing and especially liking for all of you that take the time just to click the thumbs up button i really appreciate it because it helps the channel grow pushes me out to more people which is very very important because we're just trying to grow over here. So thanks again and I will see you fools tomorrow. Show me